I must have picked the worst possible week to quit drinking coffee. So it has been four days since my last cup of coffee. And despite that, this morning, Ivana and I boarded an international flight at 6 a.m. And we are just now arriving in the lowest temperature place we've ever traveled to. It is negative 19 degrees right now. And despite all that, I stand before you an uncaffeinated man. So to be clear, Ivana and I are very excited to be here because the ice festival is on and it should be a pretty good vlogging opportunity. So first things first, let's get out of the cold and go to our accommodation. We can give you a full tour there and then we'll hit the streets of Harbin and see what it's like in sub-zero China. We're getting a bit assaulted here by, by taxi drivers. So maybe we'll... Okay. How much? Oh no, take your bag, Ivana. You just stole your bag, Ivana. Oh gosh. All right, we're going with the flow here. I'm sure it'll be a bit of an overpay, but we're okay with it. Let's get to our accommodation because we've got to change and put on multiple layers more of clothes to get ourselves ready for this temperature. I need to buy a gloves. <laughs> a pair of gloves. A pair of gloves, yeah. Two hundred. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Okay, one fifty, one fifty. Go there. My my bags are here. My bags are here. Oh, they're already there, gone. Okay, over there now, okay. Okay, okay. Shushe, 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 shushe. 150, Ivana. I haggled, I haggled. My bags are here? There. There? Bags are there. Okay, 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 okay. Shushe, shushe, shushe. All right, starting the trip off right with uh, 50 yuan savings. So the price was 200 and I got it to 150. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Okay. My hands are frozen. <laughs> and uh, can confirm the weather in Harbin is cold enough where your nose hairs freeze. <laughs> you know the feeling when you're breathing your nose and all the. F oh. Whew. All right. Accommodation tour. <laughs> cold, cold. Yeah, cold. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, so okay. we've made it to the city. We're going to try and pay with Alipay. And believe it or not, it's only 100, Ivana. It's cheaper than before. He said 200, I negotiated for 100. Uh, this one, okay? Mm. Yeah, put mm. 100. Mm. Oh, 98, okay. Yeah, 98 says there. Come on, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, Shushe, Shushe. Success. Great success. <laughs> you guys know our Alipay is 50 50, so it works. Shushe, Shushe. Oh, yeah. Suitcases in a snow. First time these suitcases have seen snow, no? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. I'm still amazed in China the license plates are in ABCD. <laughs> it's the only thing in ABCD. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, next stop, our accommodation. And quickly because whew, getting cold. And so let's start by walking down Main Street, which is beautifully decorated here. I love the uh dangling lanterns and even another ice sculpture over here. Which is really special and really beautiful. Wow, cool place to be. Oh, oh, oh check it out. I didn't realize. It's real snow, man. <laughs> this is a legitimate snowman. <laughs> the entire sculpture is actually made from snow. <laughs> wow, good one. <laughs> be honest, guys. When you see this image, does it look like China to you? <laughs> I guess over here it does a little bit. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> but my throat is getting dry. <laughs> okay, Vonda, this one. Your glasses are fogged up. Oh no, because your mask made your glasses fog up. <laughs> okay, this is the one. Alright, so we were not able to check in just yet because quite honestly, we're too early. It's not even noon yet. So we dropped off our bags and luckily we used the hotel lobby to wear some layers. So we look the same, but underneath our clothes, we put on multiple layers. That's right. Which hopefully will fight the cold. And so 
At 11.30 a.m. it is time to start the Harbin vlog. Take your time, eat it slowly, I'm not gonna melt. Good ice cream. And so Russian products everywhere, including but not limited to Russian vodka. Now, I'm the kind of guy, I like my vodka as expensive as possible. I think it's gonna be this one here, 600 UN. which is not too bad of a price. And it says minus 59 Celsius with a polar bear on it. That's my kind of vodka. And so, keeping with our accidental theme here in China, seems to happen in every city we go, I think it's time for meat on a stick. Oh. Hello. Oh, maybe it's potato. I don't know, what is that? I don't know, it looks so good. And the warmth of the grill, I'm gonna cook my hands. And the sausages. Yeah, I want this. The sausages looks good. Oh, yeah. One. Please, one. Oh. Okay, ten. Ten, okay. Uh, Alipay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. One. No one? No. No. One. Come on, Alipay. Come on, Alipay. Okay. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Shoshe, shoshe. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, the best thing I ever had in my life. It's so good, Ivana. It's actually a good sausage. You know, the meat is very juicy and the outside snaps. Oh. Almost like Polish sausage. And the other fashion. stuff, I don't know what's on the outside, you know? I have no idea. My taste, buds are, my taste buds are kind of frozen, so all I can do is the texture. The texture is so good. The snap of the sausage is very good. Anyway. Let's start walking because the more you stand still, the more you freeze. Oh god. My hair is frozen. And so, I'll be quite honest. Before I came to China, I did not expect this. I didn't think there was a place that was not only 19 below, but also a place where everybody goes out and enjoys the 19 below. To be clear, I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, where I think sometimes we get temperatures this cold, if I remember correctly, but I can speak for myself when I say when it's 19 below in Canada, I stay home. And so it's impressive to see and sort of unexpected to see all these people out in the frigid temperatures. And it's not the only unexpected thing here because as you can see, what I can only describe as a very Russian looking building. And so my understanding is Harpin is up near the border of Russia. Now the border never moved. This has always been part of China, but because of the proximity to Russia, you get a lot of trading and you get a lot of Russian uh, goods and you get a lot of Russian restaurants, Russian foods, and even some Russian looking buildings. So it's very unexpected and it sort of adds to the theme of our China series, which is uh, you might think you know what goes on in China, but until you come here, you can be surprised by many different things because uh, 19 below, amazing, ah, <laughs> amazing costumes and uh, onion dome building in the foreground. It's uh, something totally unexpected and it's what makes China so good for tourism. <laughs> awesome. And so you've probably seen lots of domes on our channel. What makes the Russian dome unique is they call it an onion dome. Because if you look, it actually goes wider than the base it's sitting on. So it's not just a dome that goes up and in, it goes out, up and in. And that's what makes it uh, onion dome, they call it. Ice princesses. Ice princesses. And lucky us, because right beside the beautiful church we have a glove salesman now what do you guys think tourist pricing worth it or not we're gonna check jack wolfskin i'm gonna check it out some black gloves no oh it's so warm good right yeah try it try it, try it. I, I trust you let's get it let's get two pairs at this point i'll, I'll pay a thousand dollars my hands are frozen i can't even use them they're not even functioning they're like this oh 120 120 120. There you go. There you go. For two. Two, two, two. Two, two pairs, 120. Ah. Okay. 
Oh, you want to go? Yeah. Sixty-one. Sixty-one. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, oh. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. No, okay, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> you want a hat too, Ivana? Yeah, get a hat too, babe. Let me try. Oh, yes, Ivana. Now you're talking my language. The kind of hat that touches the floor. Just what you need. Floor. The floor. <laughs> yes. Ivana, it's a yes for me. It's a hat and a scarf. It's two for one, Ivana. <laughs> Love it, love it. Big fan. You like? Big fan. Look at the mirror, look at the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You wanna shoot the stack, baby. Blow the wad. Don't be shy. How much? This one. And it's got gloves in it? Yeah. It's gloves, a scarf, and a hat. It's a three for one deal, you wanna. You can't, you can't say no. Oh, okay. You can't say no. 118. 118. Okay. And the gloves. Yeah. I cut a deal for that, no? I'll give him 220 on that, come on. Hey. 238. I think there's no bargaining over here. I'm gonna go 238. He earned okay. it. He earned it. Okay. He's selling unique items. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> Alipay, Alipay. Okay? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yo, Ivana, you look so cool. Ivana, I always love you, but when you got a new panda hat, it's also scarf and gloves, and you put gloves too. I love you a little bit more. I love you a little bit more. Walking up like crazy. I can't see anything. You look so cool, babe. You look so cool. See your handshake. See your handshake. Got it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna act a bit like paparazzi now, because look here, guys. We got wedding photos in the snow. I know I'm a bit paparazzi. But let's all say wow to the happy couple. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> nice wedding photos. And I guess the background for their shot is the church. <laughs> Just great. <laughs> Look my wife. You're so funny. I can't see anything. I guess uh, wearing glasses is not ideal in minus 19. Yeah, tomorrow we're contact. Tomorrow we'll do contacts. <laughs> you look like you're ready for a snowstorm. <laughs> Maybe this one is like a uh, dark angel or something. Wow. <laughs> so many. Everywhere you look is a princess or a costume. Panda. <laughs> Panda costume. <laughs> All right, so we've been outside for like an hour and a half, I would say. Yes. One GoPro battery is almost dead. The phone battery is almost dead. Not to mention our clothes are okay, but we could use a little more. Right. So we've heard about this huge underground mall, which is right beside the church, which all of you guys recommended. Thank you so much. And I think we're gonna buy some more things. I don't know what we'll buy, but we gotta buy some more stuff. Oh, because you look so cute. Do I look good like this? Yes. This hat, to be clear, has a big hole in the top. Gosh. It's not ideal. Also, when it comes to the ice festival, I wanna go on the big slide. Mm -hmm. I might buy snow pants. Oh yeah, let's see if they have it here. Also, Beautiful. maybe one more pair of long johns. Right now I've got long long underpants uh -huh. and pants. I think I need two long underpants right. and pants. Okay, Minus 19 is no joke, so let's keep shopping. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ivana's same jacket. Did we get ripped off in Chongqing? Similar at least. Not the exact same. Price, price. I think this is actually thicker. Still. This one says 1100, which probably means, I don't know, 300. No. 299 is the price. Okay. Never, never trust. Never trust this. So your jacket was about the same price. Yeah. I think this is actually thicker than this. But this one is thicker. Okay, we might have a bit overpaid in Chongqing. Anyway, no regrets. Is <laughs> this for men or women? I don't know. <laughs> kind of want one too now. This is this Chinese style. They got the price over here, which means nothing. This says 600 yen, you want. Yes, yes. You say, never mind 600 you want, and you go in for this one. 109 you want. Yes, of I mean, course. 109 you want, it's right in my budget. 600 is not. Now listen, Ivana, this is the one. I love it. Mm -hmm. And you can wear it underneath your pants. Yeah, Ivana, get it, get it. It looks good, I love the style. I know it's underneath your pants, but it looks so good. Oh, they're so cool. By the way, what is it, flowers? Oh yeah, flowers. Ivana, it will fit you. 
Buy it, Ivana. What's the price there? I bet you it's 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 UN, dude. 59, 60. Dude, that's a, that's a steal, Ivana. Sold. You're going with Fonseca Grangi. Fonseca Grangi. Sold. Your pink and white has been your style today. Piano. Ice piano. Totally real ice. You got the ice piano and the ice bench with the ice dome on top. Totally real frozen ice. How do they make it? They take a block and they carve it? Or it looks like they take bricks actually. Uh, see the sphere? It looks like they have bricks and right. build it that way and then they shape it after. Either way, however they do it, it's perfectly done and it's really amazing. <laughs> cool. Something out of a movie. It's, it's amazing. And it's just here with lots of other ones all around. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> is this China? Ivana? You really stand out in the crowd. Actually, no, you don't. You got a twin right beside you. Oh my gosh, two twins. <laughs> the timing was so good. <laughs> so we've come inside this mall, which is really big and really grand, and sort of reminds us of what we see in Southeast Asia because it's brand new and full of people who are avoiding the weather. The difference is in Southeast Asia, people go in the malls to avoid the heat. They come in for the AC. Whereas in Harbin, we come inside for the heat and avoid the cold weather. To be clear, the weather is manageable outside. If you have the right clothes, you can do it. But it's still nice to go in and out and sort of recharge our batteries, uh, literally as well as metaphorically. Now we've decided to have some big bowls of soup because we thought hot soup is the right way to go here. And I was thinking about having a cold beer, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. So we're having some complimentary herbal tea. And the food looks pretty good. Uh, to be clear, this is not spicy, according to the menu. It is tomato base, but very oily, as you can see. This looks so tasty, right? It's very good. Oh, just nice. Mmm, very good, actually. Oh, you would love this, Ivana. It's tomato and, and uh, meat flavor, very rich, very hearty. I guess the food you eat from every place kind of reflects on the weather because this is good food for cold weather. Mm. Really five star food. So let's eat. Uh, I got the same noodles as you, but I got the herbs one. Instead of you got tomato, I got herbs. Oh yeah. Actually, it looks like almost like creamy spaghetti. Isn't it? it looks a bit like I was gonna say uh, cheese sauce, almost like a, like a cream sauce. It is actually creamy. Is it cream sauce? Yeah. Yeah. In a soup kind of noodle base. Nice. Very good. OMG. That's a small. OMG. You are one dangerous lady. Spicy food in sub zero temperatures. Will she live to see tomorrow? Dun, dun, dun. We'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> but. That chili paste, the spice is not like Chongqing spicy. Okay. It's normal level. Manageable. The more I think of it, I mean, these are spaghetti noodles. It does taste like I it. I sort of naturally assumed they were rice noodle, because it's almost always rice noodle in China, but this is spaghetti noodle, I think. I think it's egg noodles. Egg noodles. But it does taste, the texture is like spaghetti. You're right. Mm -hmm. I guess. It's just sort of like fast food. Maybe not on the same level like McDonald's fast food. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty yummy, man. It's very good. Good it's tomato paste. I added a bit of vinegar and make it a little sour. Ah, uh, oh, very nice. Good, good food. I'm, I'm impressed. Plus like it's so it. cold, it's so warm, it's so yummy. Ooh, yes. You know? <laughs> and big portion too. Yeah. <laughs> nice, right? Mm -hmm. That trouble. bowl is bigger than your head. The only trouble, I got the orange dots. Because you oh slurp the noodle and it splits off the orange dots. <laughs> Shirt ruining soup, but I say five stars. Five stars. All right, and next up, we have the 30 second room tour. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Simple accommodation. There's your bathroom. Okay. Nothing special, but manageable. And here's your room. Guess the price, everybody. Three, two, one. The big reveal. 100 American per night. So obviously you're paying for the festival because this is a pretty simple room for 100 American. And be honest, Ivana, what does it smell like in here to you? 
fish. What? It smells, it smells bad. To be honest, it smells bad. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, good enough for us. We're going to chill here for a few hours, and then we're going to go out. Probably the lights will be on. We'll do some more food hunting. So we'll see you guys tonight. <laughs> All right. It is officially negative 22. But the lights are on. And it is very beautiful out here. So let's explore. Nice place to walk, actually. I'm still amazed by the crowds, man. So many people out here. And it seems like everyone's walking better than me. Do you notice I walk like a penguin, eh? I guess. Yeah. I'm walking like you got two bad <laughs> hips over here. Seems like Chinese people are better in the cold than me. Maybe yeah. I'm not a very good Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit slippery. I tell you what, our hotel is right where it needs to be because you guys can recognize these trees. This is the same street we're staying on. This is Main Street. Our hotel is over there and we're just walking down Main Street here. And I gotta tell you, this place is awesome. I really can't believe I'm in China right now in a winter festival. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh my gosh. This might be the best one. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like there are lights inside the horse and inside the men in the back too. So I think this ice sculpture is actually hollow. And then they put some lights inside. You can see the yellow and the back legs as well as the white. That's something really special. I mean, how would you do something like that? I guess you start with an ice block and you take a saw, like a chainsaw, cut into shape. And then maybe a handsaw, like a small one, enough of that, and just kind of chisel it perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> it was <smells> cold. <laughs> wow. Look at the detail on the dragon. This right here, it's gotta be the most intricate one. I mean, look at the teeth and everything. The mouth is actually open and there's a hollow space behind the teeth. Wow. All the scales on the body. That is a nice one, no, Hona? but you haven't seen nothing yet, Steve. It's nice, and we aren't even at the ice festival. You're right, Ivana. You know what else I noticed? I think China is the best in the world at lighting up buildings. China, every city we've been to, they light up the buildings real nice. When the sun goes down, Chinese people get to work and make the lights on. It looks so good. <laughs> Mini zoo. Okay, introducing the Mao Mao Smoked Meat House. I tell you what, you had me at Meat House. I'm ready. Actually, it's smart. The teacups have no handle. So you have to hold the tea. So you have to throw the heat. This is the kind of tea you drink with two hands, no? <laughs> Gu Bao Ro. Uh. Thank you. Was my Chinese good? Gu Bao Ro. This uh, one. This one. This one. Okay, one Gu Bao Ro. Okay. And? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sure, sure. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try the second one too. Second one? Um, uh, small or big? Small or big? How, how, how big or how small? Uh, For two people. Uh, small, 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 okay. small, small, okay. Small, okay. Small, okay. And then the second one, D San Shan. D San Shan. Okay. D San Shan. Ah. Small. Which one? Which one is D, which one is D San Shan? Uh, this one. This, this one. one. Ah. This one is D San Shan. Okay, one. And I also saw this one. I want. Um, I don't know the name. It looks big and tall. Cabbage, uh, crispy. This one. Ah, this one. Okay. What's the name? Su Huang Cai. Su Huang Cai. Yes. Yes. Got it. Uh, your Chinese is very good. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and you have uh, Harbin beer. Uh, uh, yes, we, we have, we have. Harbin beer. Yes. Big one. Please. Uh, only one? Only one. Uh, and uh, do you want some rice? Yes. Oh, rice, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good idea. Your, your English is good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, how many? Two rice. Two? Okay. Two okay. small rice, one and one. Okay, okay. Good. Uh, that's all? That's yes. all. Okay. Thank good, you. Good, good, good. Thank you. You're What's welcome. your name? What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Lin. Uh, 
Uh, Lin Wenxu. Lin Wenxu. Thank you. Oh, so nice guy, and English was so good, and he said my Chinese was good. That's the best server I ever had in all of China right now. It's a new favorite restaurant. We're ordering Harbin Specialty Food. So to be clear, the first two things we ordered, we were recommended by the YouTube audience and our YouTube friends. Yes. And the third thing, I just saw on the menu and said I must try it. It's like this tall, I think. Oh, yeah. So we'll see what the heck that is. Interesting. Good. Thank you. Okay, good. Where do you fly? Canada. Oh, I like Canada. Oh, good, good, good. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I guess we're eating one at a time, dish by dish. This one literally translates to three treasures from the earth, which we never do that in English. We just call it pork and beans or something. We just call it what it is. But it's a beautiful name, and it's uh, potato, eggplant, and green pepper. Quite lovely for a starter. The taters are not so crispy. They're kind of like just just fried nicely. And the green peppers are very crispy and crunchy, which is kind of nice. And uh, not spicy, which is very good. Um, this is good, though. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is the one our friend Ken recommended. Yeah. He said it's like sweet and sour pork, didn't he? Yeah. So this is pork? Pork. Wow, Fried interesting. Uh-huh. Oh. Good. We have a winner. It's really good. Let me get some sauce on the bottom. Um, the way they fried it is just amazing. It's almost like air fried. It's like very crispy and, and kind of dry at the same time. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's not oily. It's, it's fried, but it's quite fresh. Oh, it's really good. It has lemon flavor, actually. This is different than his. Ken said it was sweet and sour. This one is more like lemon chicken or lemon pork. Mmm. This is five star food. Mmm. Try that. I love it. That's good. Good, right? I don't know if it's lemon. Maybe it's vinegar. But mixture is just amazing. Because the crisp is very, very different. It's good, right? Yeah, good crisp. Very good. Five stars for sure. Yeah, definitely nice food. Good. And actually, sort of familiar to Canadian Chinese food. True. Like little, a, little bits of meat and fried. I'm a fan of uh, Harbin food. Sure. Same. <laughs> All right, so upon further review, maybe this is not lemon flavor, just vinegar. But it's got that sour from the vinegar yeah. and very light and fresh, kind of like citrus. Yeah. This is so good. It's better uh, than the sweet and sour pork mm -hmm. that we're used to in North America. This might be my favorite Chinese food now. New one. Oh, it's so good. Six star food. Mm. So everybody, I need your help because I think I just had an extreme miscommunication and or potential scamming, but I don't think it was a scam because that kid was so nice and it's really unlikely, at least in our experience, you get scammed in China. Let's talk about what happened because I pointed to the menu with that very friendly kid and ordered something that I thought was cabbage based and looked like it was stringy and he brought out this other thing. And so finally, for once in my life, I actually grew a backbone and I grew a spine and I said, I'm gonna tell him very politely that this is not what we ordered. So I went back to him off camera and I said, hey, I ordered this thing and you brought out this thing. And he looked me straight in the face and said, that's the same thing. Can anyone confirm or deny or explain what happened? Because, I mean, it's not the same thing. The thing I was hoping for was not dessert. It was like a cabbage thing. <laughs> and what he brought was actually quite yummy, but we just didn't want dessert. So right. I'm ashamed to admit we left tons of food waste behind. Anyway, my first impressions of Harbin, very good. Because uh, once you get the proper clothes on, you can handle the cold and it's quite comfortable and quite fun. And it's always lit up. I mean, everywhere you look is always something beautiful like this you can kind of cruise around at night and every hour or so jump inside to get warm again and keep going outside uh really good first impressions of harbin with a very mysterious exchange and some sort of miscommunication at dinner <laughs> yes and the cold i can't handle it before coming here i was very very worried even you guys all the comments when we purchased our jackets in chongqing for this trip you yeah. guys were worried that we would be like dying here but it's not too bad. The trick is layers. We've both got long underpants and long sleeve shirts and so many layers and we're good to go. Good to yeah. go. Uh, stay tuned for 
Ice Festival. The problem talking outside in this cold, it's hard to talk, your mouth gets frozen. Right. Ice Festival coming tomorrow. Later, guys. We only got disposable towels. What? What did you just say to me? This hotel comes with disposable towels? Oh, we got scammed. 100 bucks for this? Let me give it a feel. Oh my god, it's a sheet of toilet paper. <laughs> disposable towels? Guys, hit me in the comments. Do we get scammed or is this a good idea? I can see your silhouette behind the thing. It looks hilarious, actually. <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> Yo, disposable towels. First time I ever saw this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. My immediate reaction is this is awful. But I, well, I'll, I'll give you an update maybe after I use it. Yeah, I'll try it out. You can try it out and give us an update. Okay, Ivana? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it, Ivana. Post shower, Ivana. Did his job. Didn't feel good. <laughs> it's like a car rag. Car rag. Yeah. It's rough. <laughs> like a squeeze, like like a chamois or something. It's absorbent. Well, it's because I didn't wash my hair. It did the job, but if I wash my hair, I think. Does it feel like you're gonna reuse it, or is it a one-use kind of deal? So tomorrow, if you want to have a shower again, you got to get a new towel. Bro, I'm not a fan of this disposable towel. Haven't even tried it, or I dislike it. <laughs> Pause this video. Does Huawei make cars? Yeah, I guess so. This is not the make, this is the model. The make is Aito. Oh, I have no idea then. <laughs> Let me know if Huawei makes cars. I thought they made cell phones. Maybe both. Wow. What's next, <laughs> Apple car? <laughs> <laughs>